what did you see with Charlie today? What did you notice? Anything different than he was doing at the beginning of the season? Is it mechanical? He struggled over the last few starts. Well, I think if you've, you know, you'll look at the review the body work from last year, this year. You know, he's pitched a much larger volume of innings at this point in time than he ever has before. He's had to, to redline through a couple of starts. You know, he was over 100 pitches uh, three starts ago. He had to battle through four innings, four plus innings, and through 80 some pitches, then 100, over 100 pitches again. I think it's just him working through some stamina issues and being in a place he's never been before is probably volume of work, pitches, and innings. And uh, I think that has caused probably him to, he's elevating the ball more, much more than he was earlier in the season. He struggled through his last two a little bit, but tonight just seemed like a, a different. Thing that he was battling was it tonight just a, a blip compared to what he had to go through the last two? Well, it could be, and you know, in the first thing, three ground balls find holes. I mean, that's the life of a ground ball pitcher when they're hit. You don't even think twice when those balls are hit at people. That's a ground ball out. That's a ground ball out. And they go through it. That's a hit. That's another hit. I mean, that's part of it. But balls are getting squared up a little more regularly just because they're elevated. And with a couple of days off, I think we've got some options to look at how we can protect him or maybe shuffle some things a little bit, maybe to give him you know, a little bit more of a blow. He has done more than anybody here could have even fathomed at this point in time of the year. And I think, you know, there's times he's got to back away a little bit and we're going to let him catch his breath. So to clarify, you consider skipping him? It's an option. It's something we're going to talk about. We've actually talked about uh, a couple guys just trying to find some more space if we can for him. Because McDonald's in the same position, Karstens is in the same position, and he's pitching. I don't think he's ever pitched better. But as you watch these things in Mono, those are the conversations we have with guys. And actually, Correa's thrown more innings at this point in time in his career than he ever has before, also. So those are just things you pay attention to. Would you consider a six man rotation, which is something that the White Sox have done earlier this year? Yeah, it didn't last very long. No. And um, depending on, uh, I think as we move forward a little bit, it's not, it has not been brought up at this point in time, so. You mentioned, too, that the hitters are trying to adjust to Charlie as they see, you know, the new Charlie that they've seen this year. What does Charlie need to do back in terms of adjusting back to the way they're adjusting? Well, I, I think the, the first one will just, the first thing we can do is to help him, you know, regain some stamina. Um, again, that is the biggest thing for me. Um, is he tired? No. Does he feel strong? Yes. But is there from some fatigue involved? Absolutely. And he's working on, uh, you know, trying to tighten up his, his pitch set to left-handers. Actually threw some good breaking balls to leaders tonight in some situations. But on some right-handers, you know, sometimes he just gets a little out of, out of sync where that, that arm side run is running off the plate. And we've got to get to the point where he can make maybe a quicker adjustment when that fastball is running so dramatically to his arm side that we can just push it over a little bit, maybe trying to get it back over the plate. But he's learning as he goes along. Is this something you'll have to watch, not with just Charlie, but a lot of your guys throughout the year? I mean, because there are a number of guys who haven't pitched a whole lot of innings in the big leagues. Oh, absolutely. Something from now to October. Absolutely, and I think that's one of the things we feel good about is the depth that we've got, uh, you know, in play with a AAA. You know, we've got a couple different, three guys pitching very well there that could come up and provide, you know, some support if needed. But what you want to do is keep pushing those guys as much as you can without injury so they build up that stamina, so they become a pitcher that can throw 200 innings. And then go the next season and throw 200 innings. You know, you've got to work to that. That's got to be one of the end results you're working for. Clint, you said you've been proud of the team on how they've not taken the frustrations from hitting into the field. Did you see any of that today or just a couple? No bad plays. I don't think there's anything about frustration offensively. I mean, um, we went for a quick left hand and on a ball by third. We didn't make the play. Um, we overran a ball in the outfield. He was trying to make a play, thought the guy was going to go. He was trying to throw him out at home. And Danny just misfired one. He threw it 95 miles an hour at first place. I mean, that, that, those were our three errors. So I really haven't seen that at all. Uh, the offensive numbers were not good, obviously, but did you see better approaches, uh, at least for some of the players? You know, I actually did. I mean, I saw better at bats. We squared up some balls. Uh, we didn't chase quite as much, so I can't sugarcoat it. You know, we got five hits, one player got three. Um, but I did see better at bats. For Andrew, he hadn't had a, a, a hit in a few games. What did you like seeing his swing tonight? Well, the thing we talked about um, – even today, you know, sometimes this game hitters, the first thing they'll jump to is, well, I got my mechanics are off. Sometimes it's not your mechanics. Sometimes it's, it's the mental approach, you know, and what you're looking to try and do. And sometimes, 
uh, from an offensive standpoint, we go up with a mindset and try and create something to happen. If we're, we're thinking, okay, I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to hammer this ball left field, well, the guy's sinking me down and away three straight pitches. So then I'm getting out and around that I create some bad habits. So it's just tighten up his approach. We talked about his approach today. He felt that he could make some mental adjustments from the series in Cleveland. Obviously, he went out there and he threw it down tonight. Okay. Thanks, Clay. Thank you.